Yep. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to the draft. Just a little update for everybody that didn't catch it. We are just going to move on to the winner's final bracket. We are joining their second game. The first game was on Siren Strand. Uh, it was quickly won by Core. On uh, Yeah, quickly won by Core. Actually, no pushes that Illusion got. And so now we are here in this second game. Yeah, Illusion, uh, they've got to find something different to do than what they did last game. Yeah. There, there was, I mean, when you get slammed in a fashion like that, that's not a, a comp reason, okay? Not 99% of the time, it's not a reason of your comp. That's a fundamental problem that you had on that map that was exploited by your by the enemy team. Yep. And and maybe it was because you drafted the wrong comp, but that's not a comp problem. That's a you problem. That's a you drafting problem. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um. So so I think they really needed to kind of, they need to dig deep and kind of figure out what really went wrong there for this this game. So really quick bans that we actually saw on this on the screen here. Immediately putting out Tmat and taking away the Ashlyn. This is actually the first time I think this tournament we've seen Ashlyn banned. Uh, and that's probably a targeted band away from Purple Buns. The probably... Right, he can he, he can still play uh, the Sven, but I think the Ashlyn being able to open creatures is really part of what Illusion wants to do a lot of the time. Um, they, they want to use that, that ghost to open the creatures for their strong uh, range backline that they have a lot of the games, like with Anubis and, and Dave on these kind of uh, CG characters. Hovering over Sven here, not exactly surprised. This is definitely- First pick Sven, it's not a first pick Margrave. Yep, <laughs> hovering another Sven. And a Paco right now for core worked better. Now- have you, have you ever noticed that Sven's just got a nipple hanging out? I mean, yeah, he doesn't wear a shirt. You just got... I guess I just I guess it never really uh, <laughs> like do we have to it never really solidified for me do we have to censor it are we are we struggling with that that's full-on man boob dude I mean that's like they they shaded that <laughs> I don't like you see what I'm talking yeah, about it's like... true but it, but it wouldn't have made sense if they didn't then he would just have yeah. like a like it would just be the same color of his skin it's not it's a you know the, your your nipples are a darker shade of skin i've never noticed i've never noticed that sven's got a just nipple hanging out bro <laughs> <laughs> i i don't know what else to really say and add to that um aside from core I guess, locking yeah, in I guess that's it. and core locking in the spin of their own as well as <laughs> i can't <laughs> i've lost it all all comprehension uh paco we've seen on ghost reef work very very well uh what I'm expecting, knowing some of the players on Core work better right now, they might opt for this like triple support, or rather, two support style heroes as well as a Paco, who they kind of consider as a support, which isn't incorrect. It's just he's also like he's this tank flex supporty controller, and he's a uh, he works very well in this map because of these tight, you know, little corridors. Those ramps are very small on either side, so his frozen path covers most of it. His focus, pretty useful, helps lock down people. Um, and yeah, I think Core right now is looking at trying to make a team where they can basically hold a point. Uh, and if Illusion goes in, then they're going to get punished. It's very defensive right now. This side we're seeing Illusion hover the Margrave and the HK and lock it in. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm. Ch I, I was trying. I was really, really trying to pay attention to what you were saying, but I kept thinking about how the way the shading is done makes it so that he's got some really saggy ones because light's not actually hitting the, the nipple. <laughs> Sarzy, Sarzy, lock it in. Just, lock it in. I can't. I can't, dude. I, I, it's so. I've I've played this game for so long, and it feels like I've noticed something in my house that's been there the whole time, and I've just never seen it before this is this is going on my youtube channel i need you to make some commentary <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> all right so the the hk lock-in uh we've seen hk on ghost reef from dave a lot he really knows how to land those very high impact rail guns those things hurt yep and they will melt a paco away a lot faster than you think they will yes um 
Charnock, Mar uh, Charnock Margrave getting locked in, I there's really nothing surprising about this. Yeah. You kind of need Margrave in every team comp when you're playing a Ditto's tournament. It's just the way that the the way that the wind blows, unfortunately. And the 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 very uh, the very solid fire and ice combination where the two focuses work together and just sort of have this amazing amount of burst potential and if they still get stuck in the flames even after they get broken out of the snowman it, they're just getting hurt you know charnock focus uh, or rather sorry paka focus works really really well with a lot of characters uh so this is very it's very easy to understand why they're doing this i'm not a fan of the mozu here i'm gonna be honest um yeah, I'm not a huge fan of it either. I this kind of goes back to what I was saying, where Mozu kind of needs the perfect game to to really show up and do what she wants to do, and this does not feel like that. Um, Roland, yeah, you can beat, but a lot of the times Charnock doesn't really care about a reflection portal for Mozu, and will just beat her uh, one on one a lot of the time. Um, it just it doesn't like. Paco, Margrave, they're going to follow you out of your teleport a lot. I don't know. It, it feels really weird to be picking Mozu in this situation. But, you know, we'll have to see. This is what they like to do. Cypress is poking away on his cliff. And we're kind of at, at that early stalemate that we see so often in Reef. Yep. We have triple bloomers going on the illusion side, and right now, yep, triple bloomers on the core was better side. This is very, very standard. These are all players that know this game in and out, have been playing for a very, very long time. You just see bloomers. Bloomers are the best creature on this map. It's just, it's so easy to understand why, because, like... I mean, if you're playing into, like, a brawl comp, you can totally put uh, Cyclops on C. Yeah. Yeah, I think there are room for Cyclopses and for Drakes, uh, but Bloomers are just Bloomers are just comfort picks. And uh, Cerberus on A, I think, is underrated. Eh. I, I'll agree to disagree. I don't think you're really I mean, getting much. So many... The it's it's so rare that you run back there for the healing, and when you do, it's so rare that you get dived that like the only thing that's really useful back there is the cerberus like the bloomer will heal you up faster i could argue a drake on a would have a drake on a like the the aoe that the siege attacks provide can reach all the way to c so it's really good defensively if yeah, they're pushing into c and it can also help like against wounds it's so, like if you lose a rampage and they're going for wound that drake attack will help defend your guardian too but either way i think serb is generally underrated a little bit a nice engage a here. Ooh. Happening right in front of Liren's face, but it's just a little bit out of her range, so she's not going to do anything about it. Dave's going to fall down very quickly to this Mozu damage. Or rather, not to Mozu damage, but to their Charnock damage. And we're just retreating back to our Bloomer. No kills coming just yet. Classy will fall to Anubis shortly afterwards, who is on the Mozu. Yay, finally. You've, you've brought it up so much. It only took three weeks for him to finally take it. Finally they don't have they don't have an interrupt here for middle point core actually get this uh this midpoint capture so now all they need is c illusion if they want to stop this first push they've got to go in but i think they're just gonna wait i think they're wanting to wait a little bit longer play for the long game yeah that was a real but i say that and they're going in point. they do have to go i mean they have to go in here they have no other choice they, they had to interrupt that, they didn't they have an interrupt it. they didn't have one and now they're having to try to push for 100 power i'm maybe they save this bloomer but i don't think you actually kill the bloomer afterwards most of the time yeah now they're kind of getting flanked they're here stuck in a bad spot they're the just getting leaving. really low but that's not what you want to be killing dave gets separated from his team and snowballed on the back line so he will get split like literally splayed out like he's getting sucked into a black hole <laughs> and the core is or the core the wound is now the vulnerable going in you're doing his best to get them off but he just doesn't have the cc to stop the wound from going down i think melted so one. fast and they're continuing with this dive roland will take down blue on the back line and i mean purple buns is just trying what he can he has to burn his ultimate and it doesn't even do anything he'll fall shortly afterwards they find a kill it's looking bad they find a kill somewhere he's gonna get found as well 
kind of got lost in the in the stealth there. Anubis having to pop his ultimate defensively to just try to lower those health bars so they can't keep going. He will maybe find the kill on Roland. Oh, but he's so Very far well in now. Out. These shots are hitting, but the little bit of healing is just stopping it, and Charnock will collect. Poor guy. He just really wanted to confirm that kill, and it just wasn't working. I mean, I, I can't believe how long Core was in Illusion's own base. <laughs> just Illusion was trying so hard just to get them out, and they weren't even winning fights there with the assistance of creatures. It's like Core's just running circles around them right now. That first wound also melted super, super fast. I don't even think the spectator, like, UI kept up with how fast it was melting. Yeah, that thing was just It just down. was suddenly gone. Look how far in they are. Like, Illusion is just low health, and they can't make any impact here whatsoever. Core is just happily sitting in the center, constantly applying pressure, and Illusion have no response to it. I think uh, Illusion need to, first of all, initiate a fight and let Anubis kind of chip away at players as he does. And once a player kind of... There's a threshold of, of where they can kill with just a, a railgun and a slight committal from a melee player. Once someone hits that health threshold they need to immediately go in this is and kind of full commit on that one player this is sven taking full advantage of the fact that all of illusion's damage is very single target focused and all he needs is just a clutch heal to keep someone alive and by the time that that person you know by the time that person gets to safety oh blue with a two man nice doesn't really do too much because roland can't went in and blasted his team back beforehand yeah Kind of just defensively. Oh, good dodge yeah, of, good of Charnock. the Charnock focus. It still just shuts down an entire lane of this fight. Look at them collect this power. Oh, good. Free. Not quite a good interrupt from Spet from uh, Purple Buns will get it done. Yeah, but they somehow need to stop this from happening and also get two kills. No, they have to get three kills because the power they time will go to done. 90. They will go down and Anubis will use his ult to try to respond it, but. It's just too little too late because Classy collects him and now it's a 70 to 100 push and you have two of your teammates down for a little while. They're not quite in the position to punish you, but we've seen them do a lot of damage to this wound on the first time. Yeah, the question is, will they go for it again? That does look accurate and the amount of damage is done. They're moving in. They're trying They're for it. They're at least trying to get some damage on this wound and I do like this. They're just trying to finish this game as quickly as they can. I think people are playing too defensively on Reef because even if you die, look how much damage they've gotten. Four seconds left on the wound, and they're trying to push to finish it. Well, a kill will go to either team. We're already in clash. But it, it just kind of evens itself out, and that's the wound. That's crazy that they still kill from that. Like, people are being way too defensive on this map. The, the wound is very open for you to take. Yeah, Core was better here kind of shifting the idea of how you play uh, Ghost Reef optimally. Just keeping illusion on their toes the the way that illusion wants to play is no longer working because <laughs> they can't they can't even keep control of their own base and that's what they want to do anyway rolling on to, dis to disrupt the fight gets two players Sven's already dead shortly afterwards blues on a quarter hp trying to block the paco ultimate and he will actually not get hit by it because he tries to hit the hk but he doesn't even matter blue has to get out of the fight as quickly as he can on one hp and will fall shortly afterwards leaving just a bunch of illusion players with no tank and no support to play around all of illusions health bars were just so so low and just it didn't look like cores it didn't look like core health was going down at all they just they, there's there's they're just all clustered together and doing so much damage it just doesn't seem like anything illusion does makes any dent in their defensive line and their offensive line they're ahead by 30 with only the second rotation coming up and then now with F capturing, they've just got to hold on to E, but they're not even going to. They're just going to keep being aggressive because it's working. Why wouldn't they? Like, Illusion's making yeah, these moves, but this isn't going to work. Really have to do anything. Uh, Illusion has to try, but Purple Buns will die for even trying it. 50 to 90 now. And this fight is just looking worse and worse the longer it goes on. Anubis is trying to get out, but will get followed by the Roland Ultimate and die before he even hits the ground. And now Dave's stuck in the middle of, a, of an enemy team. 50 to 100. This is looking like it's going to be done pretty quickly. It's just it's just a wash at this rate. Like, 
Yeah, there's a little bit of time now for Illusion to go ahead and regroup and go for this defense. It probably won't be as much damage as it shows, which I, I'm correct on. But Core is just... Core is already in here. They're just working through it. Yeah, Mosu Ultimate gets popped to try to kill the Roland, and it will work. So one DPS player will go down, but Charnock Ultimate comes in on the back line, doing a lot of damage to this wound. They're pumping in as much as they can, but it doesn't look like it will be enough. One second left on the vulnerability, and Margrave has to get out. Classy on a quarter HP and needs to find his uh, one way out of this uh, fight is to get the jump pad, but he just doesn't find it, and he will be safe anyway. Yeah, he doesn't need it. He just There's not enough damage coming out from Illusion side, and in all those situations where... I, I was praising how much single target damage that they have, but if not everybody's there, then no one's gonna die. You know, again, that this Sven right now being so clutch, providing enough healing just to keep one person alive long enough to get out of danger and then recover. And that's all you need. That's all you need Sven to do. <laughs> yeah, he's the on-demand healing is so strong from that character. It just is the perfect save tool that you need. There's no really no other character that has the burst healing that he does. As we see kind of the two teams reset back into their own base. I mean, I, Illusion didn't even have the C for a little bit of while there. And th they're pressuring B right now. They need to collapse on this advance right now. The two tanks. It looks like this creature is just going to die before they even get a chance to respond. It's about at about a... Oh no, it's at a sliver of HP. That thing will fall down. It's so aggressive. And they're just collecting the power. Not quite. The blue will interrupt. But this fight is not looking good for Illusion. I mean, they're in their house right now. Yeah. Anubis will kill F and collect on the back line, so it's not an even trade for them. Yeah, or rather, it is an even trade. Core is so far in their base, and they're just not able to win fights still. Like, uh, Core oh, is... Cyprus. Good potential, go good potential escape, but man, after that whole firefight, you would hope that Illusion would be able to collapse and get some kills. And like they traded one or two, but if Core gets the power and gets some kills, they're gonna end up being ahead. We're going yeah, over to D rotation now. Yeah, they sent to F, and they. I That's guess it. Just hoping to go even. That's a hundred percent game. Even. They were already behind. They needed to capitalize there's, on that aggression. There's nothing that they can do. They have to find they have to find kills right now. Like all yeah. of core has to die literally right now or the game is done. Anubis and, De and, and Dave are already hit the deck, so it's looking pretty done. Liren's about to slam to the ground and all five players are alive. It really just takes a little bit of damage to end this game, and now we have Core Worked Better heading on to our grand finals. So Core Worked Better solidify their space which means that illusion will move down technically to the losers bracket it'll be the losers Deception final gimmick are still playing they are oh my goodness yeah